coaching in this competition. Natalia Chikina was an Olympian. From Reverse two and a half. High degree of difficulty at 3.0. Oh, she needs sixes to stay ahead in first place. Piece of cake. For her, yeah. in the NCAAs. Mm, questionable. For the University of Miami. The take why she puts it last. I expect her to be in the top three, and I would say the top two at worst. Round five of the three meter diving competition. Five of six, Abigail Napton of Nebraska. Coached by a great technician, Natalia, and the only woman coaching in this competition, Natalia Shikina, was an Olympian from Kazakhstan and also dived for the University of Southern California. And she is just such a wonderful perfectionist, has a great temperament. The divers love her, and she and Abigail make a great duo. Pretty. Really pretty. 63 on her fifth dive. Aranza Vasquez of North Carolina in second place through four dives. She had been second on one meter to Sarah Bacon, and she is trailing her right now. I saw her do this dive in over and over in practice, and she never missed it. Reverse two and a half. High degree of difficulty at 3.0. Oh, I, I can't imagine sitting in a judge's chair and watching how high this woman jumps. And even if she misses an entry a little bit, which she does just slightly here, you still would reward her for all of the terrific things she does. See a little bit of splash going in that direction, which indicates just a hair of over-rotation, but beautiful other than that. Still cards is 63. That'll put some pressure on Sarah Bacon. Cameron Hidalgo of Georgia Tech in fourth place. She heading could, into her fifth of six dives. She could go into second place. Of course, Sarah Bacon hasn't dived yet, but she could go into second with more eights on this reverse two and a half than seven and a halves. For the moment. For the moment, she's in second. But Sarah Bacon hasn't dived yet. Now Sarah Bacon, whose synchro partner is former Stanford diver Cassidy Cook. They're yes. really great synchro partners together. They're supposed to go and dive at the World Cup in Tokyo at the Olympic pool in April. We don't know if it's going to happen yet or not. And yes, are, it's Cook and Bacon. It is Cook and Bacon. A lot of jokes about that one. She needs sixes to stay ahead in first place. Piece of cake. For her, yes. Piece of cake. And and that is just the epitome of what Sarah Bacon does. She does it in seemingly every contest now that I see her in. She picks up momentum after about the second round. She's like a steamroller and just gets better and better, increases her lead more and more. And, and she did it there. The best dive of the competition, 74.4 for the leader in the next to last round, Sarah Bacon. She's widened her lead to 21 points just about over Aranza Vasquez. And then Abigail Napton third, Cameron Hidalgo fourth. Abigail Napton of Nebraska. Over the years on three meter, 30th, 22nd, 15th. And now here in her senior year, heading into her last dive in third place. And I still think her favorite event and her best event is yet to come, the platform event. Can she stay in third and better anything she's done in the NCAAs? Mm, questionable. That was not one of the best back twisters that I've seen her do. Um, she really 
just barely makes it sort of sniffing chlorine as she tries to line up for the water on that dive, finishes it what we would call low to the water. Has a little trouble with that entry as a result. Her best finish on platform is fourth. Hoping to better that here. But it'll still be her best finish on springboard. Emma Goldstrand of Miami. It's the highest degree of difficulty dive that any woman is doing in this competition at 3.4. I saw her do it in practice better than she did it in the preliminaries. And this could catapult her up into possibly one of the top three spots. In fifth place, heading to her last dive, the freshman for the University of Miami. The takeoff was a little rushed. I saw her do it better in practice, and this is gonna be a dive that she is going to rack up the points with in the future, because this is so close to being great. She didn't put her feet on the end of the springboard. What does that do? You don't take advantage of all of the flexibility that the springboard has to offer. That is so tough. A two and a half somersault with two twists. Still six, six and a half and seven with that 3.4 degree of difficulty, a 64.6. Lorenzo Vazquez of North Carolina was second to Sarah Bacon on one meter. She is second to Bacon here on three meter. And uh, well, she's 21 points back. She needs a fantastic dive here. And she has the degree of difficulty, 3.0. Yes, and this is a very steady dive for her. Very good dive. That's why she puts it last. I expect her to be in the top three, and I would say the top two at worst, because she was in a good position doing a dive like she just did to stay in the top two. Look at that. Eight, and again, vaulting herself up towards the five meter platform. Even above the five meter. Yeah, she really gets air. She and does. She cards a 69. That's her highest scoring dive of the competition. 384.75. It's pretty cool to do that as your last dive and pay dirt. Yeah, just a freshman. Cameron Hidalgo of Georgia Tech, three years ago as a freshman, NCAA zones qualifier on all three boards, but missed ACC's in zones because of an injury. Two years ago, didn't qualify for zones, and last year, qualified for the NCAAs on all three boards. The first Yellow Jackets since 2008 to qualify for all three, and then the championships were canceled. But here she is in fourth place, heading into her final dive. Some seven and a halves will put her on in the, one of the top three spots, some seven and a halves. Will she get enough seven and a halves to go ahead and be one of the top three divers? She barely does it. She just barely does it. Wow, what a way to finish for Cameron Hidalgo. That is super for Georgia Tech, John Ames, and Cameron Hidalgo. What a moment for her after her road the last few years. Cameron Hidalgo will have a top three finish. Now Sarah Bacon, who is the leader, looking for her second title of this meet. All she needs is five and a half to win this championship, one that has eluded her in the past. Five and a half, and it's one of her best dives. Exhale, walk. Oh, yes. It's lovely. It's just lovely. Winbo Chin knows that that meant a lot to Sarah. She talked about it in the interview from One Meter, how she wanted this one. She wanted a good, consistent performance. And when you go over 400 points, you know that is spectacular. That is the highest score in this competition since going back to Yu Zhao of Minnesota in 2015. That sets her up to be diver of the meet right there. She's won two springboard titles out of three events for diving at the NCAAs. And her highest two dives, the highest two dives of the competition 
where in the fifth and sixth rounds, Sarah Bacon saving the best for last, and she wins the three-meter springboard competition. Sarah Bacon joins us. Two wins, and in this one, your best two dives were your final two dives. How do you stay so calm under pressure? Um, my coach, honestly, he helps me stay calm in between dives, and then we've been working on consistency on three meter throughout the whole year, so I think it's finally starting to show off after that performance. Sarah, you have really distinguished yourself in NCAA competition now. As you head towards the Olympic trials, how are you feeling about your preparation thus far in the women's three meter event? Yeah, I'm feeling really good. Uh, my body health-wise, I'm feeling better than ever. And my diving-wise, I think I look better than ever. So I'm going to use these events that um, I performed here and help that motivate me moving forward into the Olympic trials and into the Olympic Games. Once again, well done. And the springboard diving that you displayed was almost flawless. Thank you. Sarah Bacon of Minnesota, three-time champion on one meter. And for the first time, Big hug from her coach, Winbo Chin, for the first time a champion on three meters.